Hi guys, and welcome back to Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest is grown and out of the house and my middle daughter is away at school. Both of them will be home today though, so I'm super excited. Um, and my youngest, my 10 year old is uh, who lives with me here in our new home. So thank you for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos. This is a budget with me. I like to budget my paychecks. So I budget paycheck by paycheck. Sometimes I do a monthly budget, but typically I just do the paychecks. So today we are using the Elevated Life Co. Workbook Duo. And I am going to go ahead and get into the budget page. All right, before I zoom you in, I do want to take a moment to explain what is happening at my job. Uh, those of you that just want to get into the budgeting, I will have a timestamp somewhere, like maybe up here on the screen, as to what time I'm actually going to start budgeting. Um, but for those of you that are interested and want to know, um, so I was in an election. Um, the results came out on November 17th, last Thursday, and I lost the election. So what does that mean for me? That means um, I will only hold my position until the meeting we have in January when the installation of officers happens and then I will be going back to carrying mail. Um, like I said before, it's not the worst thing in the world. I still have a job. I get a, a, a great paycheck with great benefits. Um, it's just a bit heartbreaking for me because I have worked um, since about 2004, so actually 18 years, um, worked on getting to this position and it was taken away from me. Um, not in a kind way, not in a um, fair way. I don't know how else to say it um, without getting too much into details, but things were said that were untrue. And that's, I guess, what makes it hard to accept that this is all happening based on lies. So sounds like politics, right? So uh, like I said in before the other video, um, I'm not a politician. It is not in my nature. Um, and so maybe right now, um, this is the best thing for me because just going and doing my route every day will actually be way less stressful than the job I am doing right now. Um, and I can make a lot more money doing it because of overtime and stuff. I do get extra hours at the job I'm at now, but we don't get time and a half or double time. I do get paid my miles, but I won't be driving all those miles, um, obviously, if I do my route. So I hope that all makes sense. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, I'm really just trying to, this is the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm really just trying to be grateful and thankful that I still have a job and um, great benefits and a great income and all of those things. But um, sometimes it's hard. And one of my friends on here, and uh, um, I won't call her out, but uh, she sent me a beautiful text and told me that, you know, maybe this is, you know, this is a bigger plan. And it's hard for me to see that right now. Um, but I'm going to go with that. So thank you, my dear, my sis. I love you. Um, okay, that's it. So let me zoom in. And as always, I'm gonna turn it on its side because I'm right-handed. So my full-time job, like I said, I work full-time for the union. Um, this check uh, includes extra income from extra hours and tolls and some miles. So it is more than a regular 40 hour a week paycheck and I get paid bi-weekly. So this would be 80 hours. Um, it comes out to $2,440. All right, so from there, we're gonna move down here to my bills. So mortgage, I always budget, I'm trying to find a better angle so you guys can see, but it's not working. $1,100, um, and this is uh, more than I need every other pay, every paycheck I do 1100, but I'm hoping to get a couple extra mortgage payments um, by the end of uh, next year. Hopefully I'll have at least two extra mortgage payments paid, garbage. You know, this whole time I've been living here, they've been kind of sporadic picking up my garbage. I don't know if I explained this before. I've only had one bill. Um, and that was after I finally called them because they didn't pick up my garbage for two weeks. And they had no, they had it uh, cut off. I guess because around here, a lot of um, water and garbage bills are together. I just kind of thought ours was too. It is not. So the garbage bill is $70. 
and I, I, I'll have to look at it closer to see how many months that's for. Um, all right, and then T-Mobile. I think this is the last time this bill is going to be as high as it is. It's $370. I have one more payment on two devices, though um, Autumn dropped her phone in the toilet. Yes, she did. And so it was time to get her a new phone anyway. So I just, instead of paying the insurance and getting her the same phone again, uh, she had a really old model of an iPhone. I did upgrade her phone. So though this will be going down, uh, maybe um, not as much as I was going to hope it was going to go down because we're going to have two devices paid off, but we're picking up another one. So it is what it is. <laughs> All right. And then Netflix, I pay $25 a month for. Venture One is one of my credit cards I will work on next year. We're going to put 100 on that. Then I have one personal loan. I did pay off one or, uh, about a month ago, so I have one left. It's $71. And then for subscriptions, um, this is like Apple um, storage and stuff. I think it's only about $3. I'm going to say $5 just to be on the safe side. All right, we're gonna add this up and get a total real, real quick here. All right, then moving down here, we're moving on to the uh, categories that I carry in my wallet. Food, I usually do 120. I'm bumping this up to 150 this paycheck since my daughters will be home this weekend and um, my future son-in-law. And then gas, I always do 150. And that should cover it. Um, I won't be doing, I will be doing still, this should cover it. I, we should be all right with that. And then medical gets 20 and this is for prescriptions and co-payments gifts which is for any family members gifts um, anything that comes up baby showers all that kind of stuff and then pets we do have one cat three turtles and three fish three turtle yeah three turtles three fish and, and a cat and then clothes always gets 20 so I'm going to total up the wallet real quick keep this separate make sure I don't add that in I could have did that in my head. 380 <laughs> plus the 1741 equals 2121. And we're going to take that from the 2440, which leaves us $319. And we're going to move on to my first binder. My first binder is my pink binder. It is my revolving binder. Um, it's a lot of money in, money out. So giving will get $5. Mom fuel. I just spent all the money I had in there. That's for all my coffee coffee needs. That's $5. Miscellaneous gets $10 because if I don't spend what's in there, I give the 10 to my girls save. Self-care, that is mostly for getting my nails done, is getting 25 School will be getting 5 um, Landscaper will be getting 5 This will be depleted. We have the final bill for the landscapers, plus we give them a little tip as well. Um, so I will continue to put $5 every paycheck away for them so that in the summer months, we are uh, ahead of the game. And I'm considering getting one for my own property. Although Marcus, Debt Free Dad, gave me a great suggestion to pay a landscaper to do all the major work, get it really nice um, beginning of spring, and then all I have to do is the upkeep. That might actually be easier for me because there's so much that needs to get done. It's a bit overwhelming, so we'll see. All right, and then Costco gets $10, and normally I was doing five, but I'm uh, Costco when you go there you usually spend a bit so i think ten dollars is better family fun we will do five dollars now birthdays and this is different than my gifts category that's in my wallet this is um just for my daughter's birthdays now ari's birthday is saturday she will be 18 and then my other two daughters birthday is in february on february 18th both of them <laughs> so and then uh so we're gonna add 10 there and then holidays is five dollars like i said before that for thanksgiving i do not have to cook i am very blessed but um i do have to bring a side dish or dessert or whatever my mom 
uh, suggest. I usually bring a dessert that one of Ari's favorites because we always celebrate her birthday on Thanksgiving. All right, let's total this up real quick. $85 in my revolving binder. And we're gonna move on to all my other binders. These sinking fun sheets are from Paper by Mo. Um, I love them because of the way they're set up and I've been using them for over a year now. So I am starting with my dated binder. These all have to be fully funded by a specific date. And um, I am gonna go right here to uh, take away from ID theft because that I put in the bank and it's going to have a zero balance and that's okay because that's what it's there for um, but everything else we will add to um, we are going to start I'm going to try and make sure this is all in screen I'm really bad about uh, cutting some of it off all right to get Christmas fully funded we are adding $40 this paycheck and I might not have exactly 500 by Christmas, but I will be close enough. And this is cash gifts. I already fully funded for my online holiday club. So this is great. And then car registration, I am doing $11 a paycheck. It needs to be fully funded by the end of February. Amazon Prime comes out of my account in August. We're doing $7 a paycheck. Disney Plus comes on my, out of my account in February and then we're doing $7 a paycheck. Like I said, ID theft, we are not adding anything to. It was fully funded last paycheck. I took it out and put it in the bank and it has been paid. So we will start this again, probably not December. I think I will start this again in January. And then wedding. This is for my daughter's wedding and I'm trying to get up to $2,000. We're doing $30 a paycheck there. Awesome. Let's see, we had 85, I'm trying to remember where we were at. So 319 minus 85. So I'm just gonna put 234 down here. So I remember to take that. 234 is what we have left. And um, I don't think we're gonna have a whole lot to put in this binder. So these, this is my travel binder. We will take this when we go down to Kentucky to visit my daughter or go down there for the wedding or wedding shower. So travel, we're going to do $2. Spending, we'll do $2. Beauty, $1. Miscellaneous, $1. Let's see here. Gas, we'll do $2. Uh, food, we'll do $2. And tips, $1. And then let's see where we are with all this. And hopefully we can get to all our binders. One hundred and six dollars. We're gonna take that from the two thirty-four. So we'll have a hundred and twenty-eight dollars left for the other binders. Again, I'm gonna write we had one twenty-eight left, so we know where we're at. All right. So this is my long-term sinking fund. Things that need to be funded, not a specific date, but they happen yearly or you know, usually yearly for most of these. Some are just long-term goals, Australia, a student loan to have that paid off long-term just to get some extra savings. I guess Australia could go in my save binder, but that's okay. It's a long-term goal of mine. So glasses we do about once a year. Um, I have $100 in there, I'm gonna add 10. Passports is fully funded, don't have to worry about that. Um, Australia, I'm just gonna do $5. Autumn's orthodontist, she will need braces. I think most of these I'm gonna do $5. Student loan will do $5. My envelope, and this is for my comforter. I did go to Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm gonna check out Macy's to find the comforter that I want. Um, it is gonna be around $300 from what I see, but it's what I want. So <laughs> health is gonna get $5. Ooh, car maintenance. This isn't right. I think I filled this out before I went and got my car work done. Um, but we'll still, we're gonna do $25 because that's what we always do. And sorry about my neighbor's dog, if you can hear that. Swim team will be getting $5. 
So we're gonna total this up. All right, so we have $65 in this binder. We're gonna take that from the 128, which leaves us $63. And we have a few more binders, so we'll move on. That's sixty-three dollars. We'll put that here again. All right. So this is my new home binder and my savings binder. So um, what did I say? Sixty-three dollars. I really want to focus on this. Um, Ari and Audie, I don't add to. I they get the leftover miscellaneous. All right. So mm -hmm -hmm. I wonder. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. So this would be 53. All right, we're gonna do $10 in home maintenance. We are gonna do $5 in each of these because these are super important to me. And it might not leave anything for the Harry Potter binder, but so we're gonna leave those two blank. We're gonna do five in my envelope. We're gonna do five in Ari's car. And five there. So we have 10, 25, 35, 5, 10, 20, 25, 35, 45, 50. Old bills won't get anything. So we're gonna have $13 left. That's enough to, to stuff that Harry Potter binder. All right, for the Harry Potter binder, we have 10, um, we have $13, we have 10 envelopes. So we are gonna do $1 in tips. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, ten, twelve, and I'm actually going to change this to a two. Thirteen. One, two, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars. So if I did all this right, we should be at a zero. So let's see. All right, so for my new home and save, we did $50. The long term was $65. The dated and the vacation was $106. And then the Harry Potter, I remember that was 13. So let's add this all up. $319, which is what was left over, exactly 319. So we're leaving zero and I have a zero based budget. Every dollar has a job and every envelope is getting at least a dollar, which is what I like to do. Um, I'll show you real quick on this. If you look on the Harry Potter binder, there's not much in a lot of these, $20 and some, $16, $17, $8 and some, but this has been little by little, $1 or $2 every single paycheck. And it adds up. It will literally add up a year of doing this. And um, obviously at some point I'm gonna have to throw more in lodging or transportation, but for now, just getting it started, it is motivating. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm really hoping to get this posted today if possible. If not, you will see it after Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. And if you are not in the US, I hope you have a wonderful weekend with your family and friends and you guys take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.